Okay, this video is about a really useful form, the difference of two squares. And I've written it like this because it's often abbreviated just to uh, dot difference of two squares. Now, uh, what it is, is if you multiply out something like x plus y times x minus y, what you'll see happening is this. You get x times x, that's x squared. Now I get plus x times y. Then I also get minus x times y, and I get minus y squared. So uh, what you can see is that x times y here minus x times y cancel out, and we're left with x squared minus y squared. This is why it's called the difference of two squares, because these two things are squares, so uh, x squared and y squared, and difference is a word that means subtraction, so this is literally the difference of two squares. And if we've got a difference of two squares like this, we can factorise it as uh, in, in this form. And that turns out to be incredibly useful. And the point of this is it works whatever I replace x and y with. So uh, actually, just to, for doing some simple numerical work, it, it can be quite useful. So if I wanted to do 12 squared uh, minus 7 squared, say, I could say... Uh, by the difference of two squares, we've got x is 12 and y is 7, so that's 12 plus 7 times 12 minus 7, so that's 19 times 5, which is 5 less than 20 times 5, so that's 95. And of course we could work this out numerically as well, that sort of thing is perhaps more useful for larger numbers, so you know, if x is 301 and y is 299, we get 301 plus 299 times 301 minus 299, so that's 600 times 2, which is uh, 1, 1,200. So occasionally we can use it to do some calculations uh, more quickly. We do mainly tend to use it in algebra though, so if I've got, say, uh, x squared minus 49, uh, and I wanted to factorise that, we could see immediately that well, if x is x and y is 7, this gives us x plus 7 times uh, x minus 7. We could um, do it with more complex sort of square forms if you want as well, so something like 9x squared minus 4y squared. Now uh, notice that 9x squared, well that's 3x all squared, and 4y squared, that's 2y all squared. So this we could factorise as 3x plus 2y times 3x minus 2y. Quite often once you use the result the other way around, this is the sort of, the sort of thing we do quite a lot when we're dealing with third expressions with square roots, 3 plus root 2 times 3 minus root 2. And if I recognise that this is like this with x is 3 and y is root 2, I can say, well, this is just 3 squared minus root 2 squared. So that's 9 minus 2, so that would be equal to 7. Um, that's a technique that we use uh, quite a lot. So this difference of two squares thing, uh, you know, it's just a little result for you know, these sort of like quadratic forms in algebra, but one that we use all the, t all the time. You know, if you can spot that something's a difference of two squares, that can really simplify some, some tricky problems. So it's one that's worth really being aware of and being able to watch out for and use when you can.